Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle with the center O along with this uh, code uh, AC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, blue shaded square OEDP is fully confined in between them. And moreover, this code AC has a length uh, of 32 units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square OEDP. Since all of its side lengths are equal in length, uh, let me label this side length as lowercase a lowercase a, lowercase a, and lowercase a across the board. And in this uh, next step, I have connected this center O with this point uh, D. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, OED. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DEO. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out uh, this uh, unknown side length uh, OD. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And here in our case, uh, OD is our longest uh, leg, that is our hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, a square equal to our this uh, longest leg is uh, OD whole square. Let's simplify, so OD whole square is going to be equal to 2 times uh, a square. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore our OD length uh, turns out to be a times uh, square root of 2 units. So therefore we can see that this uh, our OD length uh, turns out to be a times uh, square root of 2. And this uh, OD is the diagonal of this uh, square as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, OD is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. So I'm going to label this one as the lowercase r. So therefore, our radius of this semicircle turns out to be a times square root of 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, is the radius uh, OB of this uh, semicircle. So this is going to be a times uh, square root of 2. And likewise, uh, a O is the radius uh, of this very same semicircle as well. So therefore, this is going to be a times uh, square root of 2 as well. And now in this uh, next step, let's focus on this uh, right triangle POA, whose uh, side lengths are uh, lowercase a and a times square root of 2. And now we are going to calculate uh, this side length uh, AP of this uh, triangle. So therefore, we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And here in our case, uh, AP is our hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, a times uh, square root of 2 whole square plus uh, a square equal to a p square. So let's take care of it. So this is going to give us 2 times a square plus a square equal to a p whole square. So therefore, if we combine the like terms, a p whole square equal to 3 times a square. Let me undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, our uh, AP length uh, turns out to be A times uh, square root of 3 units. So therefore, our this uh, AP length uh, turns out to be A times square root of 3. And now we are going to think uh, outside the box. So therefore, I have connected uh, this point uh, B with this uh, point uh, C. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if A, B, and C are uh, three distinct points uh, on the circle, and the line uh, A, B is a diameter, 
then the angle uh, ACB is going to be a right uh, angle. That means it's going to be 90 degrees. And here we can see that A, B, and C are our three distinct points uh, on the semicircle, where uh, A, B is the diameter of this semicircle. Therefore, according to this theorem, uh, this angle uh, A, C, B is going to be 90 degrees. In other words, uh, this uh, triangle uh, A, B, C is a right uh, triangle. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. If I call this angle uh, alpha, we know this angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, in this uh, triangle uh, POA, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And now let's focus on this uh, bigger right triangle ABC. If this angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore, we conclude that these two right triangles, uh, triangle uh, ACB and the other right triangle AOP are going to be similar triangle according to angle, angle similarity theorem. So therefore, we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of uh, this uh, a b side length uh, and this uh, a c side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, ratio of uh, this side length uh, a p and this uh, side length uh, a o so therefore i wrote down uh, a b divided by a c is going to be equal to a p divided by a o and now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, diameter AB is going to be the sum of these uh, two radii, A times square root of 2 plus uh, A times square root of 2. So this is going to give us uh, 2 times A times uh, square root of uh, 2. So therefore our AB length uh, turns out to be 2 times A times uh, square root of uh, 2. And moreover, uh, this uh, AC length uh, is uh, 32 units. So therefore, I'm going to replace this AC by 32 at the denominator. And our this uh, segment uh, AP length uh, is going to be A times uh, square root of 3. So therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, AP by A times square root of uh, 3. And finally, this uh, AO is the radius. So this length is a times square root of 2. So therefore, I'm going to replace this a o by a times uh, square root of uh, 2. So therefore, uh, this equation is going to become 2a uh, times uh, square root of uh, 2 divided by 32 equal to a times uh, square root of 3 divided by a times uh, square root of 2. And here on the left hand side, this 2 and 32 is going to become 1 divided by 16. And on the right hand side, this A crosses out with this uh, A. So therefore, we are ended up with the uh, A times uh, square root of 2 divided by 16 equal to square root of 3 divided by square root of uh, 2. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by 16 divided by square root of 2. And likewise, I'm going to multiply on the right hand side 16 divided by square root of 2 to isolate A. And here we can see 16 and 16 is gone. Square root of 2, square root of 2 is gone. So therefore, A is going to be equal to 16 times square root of uh, 3 divided by square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to become simply 2 at the denominator. And now let's simplify furthermore. So therefore, our a value is going to be when we reduce the right hand side, that is going to give us a times uh, square root of 3 units. And now we can see that A represents the side length uh, of this uh, blue square. And A turns out to be equal to A times the square root of 3. So therefore, the side length uh, 
of this uh, blue square is going to be 8 times the square root of 3 units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area equals to S square where S represents the side length. And in our case the side length is uh, 8 times square root of 3. So therefore this uh, blue square area is going to be 8 uh, times uh, square root of uh, 3 whole uh, square. And if I simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 192 square units. So therefore the blue square area turns out to be 192 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.